it's Ron back on Ron Brown's YouTube channel. We're back here to discuss the DJI uh, Avada 2 drone here and something that you may not know, like, you know, something maybe new to some of you. So, uh, yeah, we cover a lot of drone gear over here, drones, drone gear, you know, and, and even action cameras and pocket cameras, anything a kind of single content creator could use to, you know, to make, make a nice YouTube video up. So, um... What I'm talking about here with the Avada 2 is most people fly in what they call rock study mode, you know, where when the drone hovers along, you know, it uh, kind of tilts back and forth as you're flying it and the wind's pushing. So you, you kind of have a lot of like these kind of angle shots here with your, with your camera. But you can put it in a mode called horizon study mode, um, which allow it to basically replicate what you get from your camera drone. Uh, you know, it keeps a nice steady horizon. Now this does this, you know, all in post. When you're actually flying a drone, it'll still do this and this. And but you know, when you uh, output that, um, you know, footage from your say your memory card um, or the internal memory, however you want to cry to say memory card, because I I most commonly record the memory card. You 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 know you get that off your memory card, put it in your computer, it's nice and leveled out, just again, just like if you're flying a DJI camera drone, such as the Mini 4 Pro or the DJI Air 3. So what I got here is a couple, just a few, you know, about two minutes worth of sample footage where I flew it in the horizon mode, the whole flight, and for a bonus, folks, I've actually, I recorded it in D-Log-M, and uh, you know, I took the footage and put it in Final Cut Pro, and I downloaded the um, correction lot for the, uh, the, you know, the DJI, um, I cannot say, let's say the whole thing, the G DJI Vada 2, the correction LUT from the, from the DJI website, and then I applied the correction LUT to kind of restore everything, and, you know, it turned out, you know, I'm going to say pretty good here, so I'm going to roll the clip and let you uh, folks, um, you know, see what you thought of it, so roll that clip, Ron. All right, Ron here. I just wanted to remind you all that, um, you know, I am a solo content creator. My videos for the, I, I've never had a sponsored video, I don't believe here. The only money I make off these videos is off the Google AdSense, which is based on like, you know, whole things like views and watch time and, and so on. Another way you could help me out, uh, it's called um, Buy Me A Coffee, where you can donate as little as like uh, $1 uh, to the channel or you know more if you want to if you want to and and it really helps uh keep the lights on around here and uh, helps you get more procs and uh to review and, and everything just you know really just a way you can send a little appreciation out here so i'll drop the link down below now back to our normally scheduled programming here
All right, I hope you enjoyed that, uh, you know, that, that clip with the uh, Horizon study on in place of the Rock study. And, uh, you know, you can see that kind of can replicate a camera drone. So say you were out, you know, you only had this drone with you, you only took the Avada 2 with you, and you went out to a location where you thought you were going to fly FPV, but you also wanted to grab a little, you know, like camera drone footage too. You know, not everybody likes to see the twisting and turning or whatever. So you could just put this in horizon mode and you could, you know, kind of fake like you were flying a camera drone at a location, keep everything nice and studied like most people are used to seeing, you know, drone footage. So, uh, yeah, you know, just something to try and out. And uh, yeah, I hope you like the uh, the D-Log and the correction light. Now, I did, uh, you know, I did play with the, um, you know, the, the contrast and the shadows a little bit here. Highlights, shadows, contrast. So I did kind of pump, pump the video quad up a little bit just so you could see how much dynamic range this drone camera has compared to the Vada 1. You can, you can, you know, pull out a lot more, uh, you know, we'll say details, and details is not the right word, just push a lot more, of, pull a lot more of everything out of the footage. You know, again, basically kind of everything revolves around contrast, shadows, highlights. You can pull all that out of whatever and affect you everything, you including your color and, and so on. So that's the beauty of this improved, much improved camera on the Vod 2 that it has that, um, you know, that ability to shoot D-Log M and much more dynamic range than the, uh, the uh, bottom one did. So, okay, that's it. If you have any questions about any of the process, I talked about down below how, how to put your drone in the horizon study mode, um, how the, you know, put it in D log M, you know, anything, you know, how, how to do the uh, correction line, anything like that. Put it down below. We'll, we'll talk it over and, uh, you know, maybe make another video about it. So, okay, that's it. Um, you don't forget to, um, you know, Th uh, th thumbs up, give me the like, uh, subscribe to the channel, um, ring that bell so you know when I put more videos out, and, uh, and uh, I hope you enjoy the video, and we'll see you in the next one, folks.